More than 250 people helped first responders in Polk County prepare for the unthinkable, a commercial plane crash. The city spent nine months planning this mock disaster. As our Ryan Race reports, the more real it looks, the better it is. <laughs> Simulated chaos and confusion. <laughs> may be the best way for first responders to prepare for a real disaster. In this case, students are acting as injured passengers. I, I don't have fingers. Their make-believe plane just crashed short of the runway at Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. This tipped over bus represents the main fuselage and over here is supposed to be the cockpit. We, we try to be as realistic as possible. That's why we do these things. We don't do them often enough. The airport is required to run these exercises every three years. Besides a little fun for the students with fake blood and missing extremities, the training is good practice triaging patients and always provides a serious lesson. Each time they do this exercise, one of the biggest lessons is communication. With so many agencies involved, everyone uses a different radio system. We're finding we still have bits and pieces out there that don't have the frequencies they need or the channels they need on their radios. So that was, again, as it was last time, communications is an issue. This is by far the preferred place to discover an issue. One year after the exercise, the crew realized they did not have an effective way during a disaster to refill this special foam used to put out fires. They fixed it. Everybody's going to get together, find out what went wrong, what went right, what do we need to improve on. This may be fake commotion, but it seemed like real adrenaline for the ones we rely on day in and day out. In Lakeland, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.